amazing. I knew you had great potential. Even back then at the Jammer. Uncle Arturo, where oh, you find isn't my isn't she daddy? a beauty? Oh, you can Artyom, see she's been come up here. For all this I have time. something to talk to you about. So I like my poor old Thank you, Artyom. Hello, I Artyom. I really know how to thank you. Spasibo. You're back. You did great. Thank you. So, here's the plan. Your group captures the tugboat. Then you, Duke and Crest, take a... to the bridge. While Crest distracts the guards, you and Duke infiltrate the control room at the top and lower the bridge. On your mark, we'll ram the gates, pick you up and... And... I pray to God it works out. Hmm. I can't give you or Duke any direct support. The data we have tells us the enemy's main force is guarding the gate. One more thing, Artyom. Look after Duke, all right? He's a great scout, but uh, prone to unnecessary risks. Now, sure, he's young, but if he continues like that, who knows what will happen, huh? So give him a good example and do it smoothly and quietly. You are his role model, and as such should remember that you are special forces, not tank jocks. Good luck, Artyom. Welcome back, Ranger. <laughs> it looks like I've been worrying for nothing. <sighs> it's my age, I guess. Oh, well, we were all worried. Yeah, but Anna took it to a whole new level, I must say. Artyom, look, I have an improvement for Tihar ready. Try taking it out for a trial. You're welcome to use the workbench to install it. So, are you ready for that final push? Good luck, and thanks again. Wow, oh, where did you get this? God damn, this is cool. Thank you, man. You just blew my mind. Fast can go on a straight line, huh? We'll have to ask Chris about that. Oh. 
Артем, the team took the long way around to the port. But you could get there faster. There's a boat there. I'm not doing anything with the workbench now, Artyom, so you are welcome to use it. Need some rest? All right, but don't take too long. You're really needed at the port. If you need it, Artyom. But try to be quick. They're waiting for you at the port.
about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, ready to take the guard off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Busy repairing something, so... This seems to be the best part for point entry. And we'll hear them too. By the way, there's only one guard in the hole in here. Yeah, it's no fun beating up a mature soldier. Open fire! He's been spotted!
Shoot! I can pay the, the goods! Take them! You can take the goods! Stay calm! It's us! <laughs> Great job, Artyom! Artyom, all of our guys are fine! You did great! A shame we couldn't do it quietly. So, you guys ready to set off? Too late if you're not, we have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurrah! Man your stations, way anchor! We're gonna go about halfway there, then and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. Artyomich, Duke, you're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, Blet. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. Sure! Catch the line! Ready! Hey, sailor! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> Whoa! You're so funny! So, Artyom, you're shall we move? Man. Whoever gets there first wins! We Break a leg! Salandia's for gold. Who arrived? Satan slaves! It's like you missed the morning sermon. Well, I didn't. One day you are going to get sent to fight demons for that. Uh, but it's so early. Just tell me what he said. Ugh, all right. 
A heretic actually arrived right at the sermon. Our guys rushed over to save the Holy Father, and the heretic killed all of them. Even begging for your life is useless before that murderer. The only ones that survived were the regular folk there. Even though he's an animal, some humanity still remains. You see, Sino never came back. Holy people like you never come back, brother. And he does worse than demons. That's what scares me. I only need the one demon, but the heathens. It's all in God's hands. That is true. His will be done. So nice over there on the other side. Hey, brother. Everyone is looking for his life. Which is where? Where? Where we are not. Why is that? We are the just ones. We are Father Salantius. It's not what I meant. Boy, you are dumb. We'll explain it better. Why is it better? Shout if you see anything. Hold that. Who is he? Huh? Yes. It's not the cat. He really brings it so good where the hair takes the Who likes it there? I don't ah, Can't see. Alright, I'll go take a closer look. It's not like that would kill me. Yes, but rules are so useless. I wish they gave us real job. Anything. Not God Almighty, just... Shield us from the touch of evil. 
And the breath of evil. That is clearly and from a different nation with some. And they saved our souls the really? way you saved our lives. To serve your will and confirm your power here on Earth Looks again. Like it was not. Just as you have Look, confirmed that I really heaven. wanted something to And give here. us strength to triumph over Satan's minions. And punish us should we prove unworthy.
machine oil and signing it at an Eliza Ballas. We will not falter.
Everton. Look, old man, we're just passing through. Let us through peacefully. Our guys won't shoot, or this place is going bye-bye. And Katya, you don't have to worry about her anymore. Understood? Deceiving Katya, you must pray to the Lord for forgiveness, but for murdering my children, the children of God, you will burn in hell until the end of days. We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. Regretfully, Duke was not destined to see them. Was his death a fault of mine? Was everything that happened on the bridge? It could be. It's a cruel world that we live in, and it's not our responsibility to fix it. He only wanted to pass through, and it was not my fault they screamed for blood. Their zealousness reminded me of the Metro, where people are indoctrinated into a lie. That the world is dead and there's nowhere to go. Anyone who questions it gets fed a different lie, that the war is still going on. Here it's... Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the Colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. I'm so sorry about Duke. He was just a boy, really. He kept asking me for advice on how to become more attractive to a girl he knew, what to say to her. He couldn't wait to come back to her, proudly wearing scars and medals. Stay here for a bit, Artyom. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climbed those ruins back in Moscow, with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home, for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know. There's something great in simply going anywhere like this, together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. Alyosha keeps telling everyone Duke could have jumped off the bridge in time. The others are also holding well, but I... I just unraveled. Of course, I had friends die before. He wasn't looking for death, Duke. He did volunteer for the most dangerous missions, 
but didn't expect to die. He was looking up to step on. Dad. You. Especially you. And he didn't die for nothing, did he? He wanted us to get there, to Yamantau. He wanted us to tell them about Moscow. How we survived there and still haven't given up. How we've been hiding for so long. But when I think of it being you, and not even knowing for sure, I'd never be able to live through it. So, you think I should just let it all out? I don't think that would make me feel better. I've been thinking, back home, we buried our friends at home, and avenged them at home. That home and life there sucked. We were kept there with chains. No, even worse, with lies. And now we are looking for a new home. But here, it's someone else's home, and we are not invited. Right. I've got to get myself under control. Go. Dad wanted to see you.